All right, everyone, I'm here with an update on me taking this uh, SLR 104UR out to the range and uh, basically seeing what issues may uh, arise when um, rapid firing this thing. I'd like to apologize in advance that when I was shooting this video, um, I was using a cell phone like I am right now and um, I don't necessarily have a camera with a tripod. I did. I lost it. I don't know where it's at, but I had to use what was available to me at that time, which was my cell phone. So I, la I laid it vertically. I laid my cell phone uh, next to next to some wooden stand that I found at the range, and it eventually just went all the way up. But um, but I eventually fixed it. Uh, just so you know, it's the same rifle. I just kept on shooting, but uh, I'd like to apologize for that in advance. I'm not necessarily gonna cut the video or edit the video I'll let you all see the whole video even with mistakes so um, so so y'all can um, can verify that it's the same rifle I didn't necessarily you know switch it out for another one or anything like that all right so we're here at the range with the uh, 545 uh, SLR 104 UR and I got uh, two RPK 45 rounders and uh, one plum uh, 30 rounder and um, yeah, I'm just going to rapid fire this and see how that uh, barbecue uh, paint job on the gas block um, holds up. The paint job on the on the gas tube looks okay, but uh, yeah, we're just going to run this. We've got approximately uh, 120 rounds here. Should be pretty warm enough for us to tell whether or not that uh, that paint's going to come off or but there will be some adverse effects uh, due to the uh, plague heat, but all right. It's the first time I'm actually shooting this. Uh, there's a um, tack stamp pending on this, and I was going to shoot it after. I actually chopped the barrel off, but, uh, but yeah. All right, so it's 30 round mag. Next up, RPK forty five rounders here. I'm gonna hang on to this now. Yeah, I can smell the paint. Stopping it real quick since uh, this spill right here, smoking up real quick. The barrel actually is uh, bubbling up, that's unfortunate. Alright, so that's 120 rounds. Damn, it smells like <laughs> man. Yeah, you can see some bubbling. Let me go ahead and... Uh... Get a better view of this. There we go. Yeah, the uh, this doesn't seem to have uh, been affected, but the barrel it looks like a like a sausage left in the barbecue. 
pit a little bit too long. Gas tube. Doesn't look bad. Looks pretty good actually. So So yeah, if anything, if you decide to uh, leave this as a rifle and uh, you get a little trigger happy, you're not going to be too happy about that. The last thing I'd like to mention is although the cosmetic issues on the barrel for me will be a non-issue because of the tack snap. I'm gonna end up basically chopping up the barrel up to here. It's not gonna be an issue for me. But if I lived in a state where I am not able to own an SBR, or I was not willing to actually pay the NFA tax stamp and I just wasn't gonna do it, for example, then this would be an issue. Um, so at least this is a, a little bit of a wake up call to those people that have these. And um, uh, I did get con contacted by customer service and they did indicate that they would send me a, a, an RMA number so I can send in the rifle back. But um, so I do appreciate that Arsenal looks like um, they are going to rectify this. But um, for me, it's going to be an, an issue again because of the, the tax stamp that I'm awaiting. And I'm just going to chop that off and it's going to be an an issue. But um, yeah, for those people that will not do that, then something to think about.